after I got over myself, I realized that it was, two, you know, two very good parts. I also knew Loretta Swit a little bit. Um, she was a, she was a girlfriend of a, of a friend of mine, and um, uh, she kind of backed me. She promoted. I well, f first I realized it was it was good parts, and then I came to feel, or f in the in the town, that everybody and their sister wanted to play these parts. Uh, you know, so um, there were a lot of people auditioning to play Mary Beth Lacey, uh, and. Uh, Loretta backed me. Then Barney Rosenzweig thought I was the bee's knees, you know, and um, hand carried the me to the producer. network. Yeah, and mm -hmm. it, Barney was the one who had challenged uh, the writing team of Barbara Corday and Barbara Avedon to write a buddy movie for women. He uh, noticed, uh, you know, well past um, um, Butch Casting and the Sundance Kid that there was freebie in the bean. You know, there was everybody had a partner and they were all running around doing stuff, uh, but not women. Um, and he, th th in the history of television, there hadn't been that, or movies. Molly, whatever her name is, wrote a book called From Rape to Reverence, and Barney noticed that. And this is, when we're in 19, you know, 80, whatever it is now, 82 or something. Right. Yeah, I've been working in the theater. Uh, I'd done the movies, and everybody thought I was a police officer, so I, my movie career had not taken off. I'd done some bad movies in between, thinking, you know, I'll, I'll stay in the movies. But it, they were disappointing movies, and they were cheesy, and, and uh, I, had, I wasn't very happy. The timing was right. Um, uh, and I went back for several auditions, you know. Uh, Barney said, wear that same sweater, you know, <laughs> when we go to network, um, which is a process that I had not been aware of. Happens all. I mean, people. You know, the network sits around now casting single roles. On <laughs> it, it, it's different. <laughs> anyway, um, so we got hired, and so we did it. And Loretta and I, you know, uh, uh, had fun. Uh, it was it was fun to play because here, here comes a new category called the hero. And not, <laughs> not only the victim. I said I had to be a victim in the in the Eastwood movie. I had to die for it. Uh, she was cute and she was funny and you know, uh, and she was a human being. Not a cartoon, but she, but she had to die for it. I knew that uh, Mr. Rosenzweig had tried to sell it as a film, film, uh, for seven years, and had shopped it around a lot. When he sort of reduced the category to a movie of the week, uh, and Loretta Swit was owed a movie of the week by contract because she was doing Mash, so that's why it got done. But he had that was it, and then because of Loretta's reputation, we pulled extraordinary numbers. Um, really pretty extraordinary numbers. Uh, uh, and uh, the network called and said, where's my series? And Barney said, I don't have Swit and I don't have Daily. You told me this would never be a series. What do you mean? 